Zeus Pettis is about to face one of the toughest competitors out there. He's facing his foe, the one who challenged him in the last fight. Stay tuned to see what happens right there. <laughs> Good evening, everybody, and we welcome you to Wednesday Night Fights. I'm Joe Tessitore, alongside Teddy Atlas, welcoming you to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds, flyweight action between these two great warriors. Introducing first, fighting out of the ball court, Chico Barnes. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Matthews. All right, gentlemen. Remember what I said. Just protect yourself at all times. All right? Touch him up. Opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. How effective of a tool can the right hook be for a southpaw when he faces an orthodox fighter? Wow, what a dangerous punch for a southpaw. And the danger zone is really there for the orthodox fighter because he's not used to seeing that punch come from that angle. Missed that shot up top. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Wow! Oh, there we go. Oh, there we there go. There you go. Matthews is down. First knockdown of this fight. It's going to be interesting to see how he recovers here. Right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Oh, boy. Oh, Who do you think you are? On the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time. Devastating blow by Matthews. Come on, let's go. Let's keep it up. He keep took a, a shot, tempo. but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Good block there by. Oh, oh. boy. Oh, now look at him. boy. He does not look good on the back end of that hook coming home. Perez has got to feel great right now. He just scored a knockdown. Now he's got all this confidence that could carry him through. Yeah, he has a watch. He doesn't get careless, though. He has plenty of confidence. If he walks in a little reckless now, that confidence could go right down the drain. Two. And now you're seeing... Holy cow! Oops. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. See, he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And just as we anticipated, toe to toe right from the start. No introductions necessary. He was on wobbly legs not long ago. Now he's got his feet back under him. What is that, a chin or is that Mount Rushmore? And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Oh Goes boy. Again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Oh, very nice. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Your head moving. Your head moving. He needs to improve that accuracy. 
Obviously, he missed with the headshot. Come on, let's go. Let's keep it in. Let's keep it going. It's got to hurt. Matthews, his legs look shaky. He was hurt. And a smart counter punch by Matthews. Oh, boy. Boy, what guts, what guts to stay in there and gather yourself again after he was taking a beating. Yeah, what guts, what instincts, and what a set of whistles. Round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a I know that three. sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell Come on, him. let's oh, go. And there you go. On the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Oh, wow. oh boy, he another goes one. Down again. This is going to be more the elevator fight. Up and down all night. One, two, three, four, five. Can we get six, back up. Oh, oh he's going to need to grab a little bit. Take a little time off that clock. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. He just doesn't learn. He just doesn't learn. Come on, let's go. Matthews is in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Oh, he's in bad shape here. He's stunned and he's wobbly. The only thing he has going for him is he's not a fighter that uses his legs anyway, and you can't use him right now. He's a guy that likes to move his head. He's got to start doing that. Try to cement those feet down the best he can and get some head movement. Come on, go, 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 go. End of the round, man. So here we are, all so wondering, round can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his own. Oh, and there he just go. doesn't learn. He continues to go through the same mistakes over Chris and doing over a really sharp job and on the over staying again. Busy he's landing shots. Matthews is learning a lesson here that you don't want to learn. And here and we go again. No head movement. He goes down. He has so much time now, he's going to be forced to survive. <laughs> That is it. This fight is over. Perez has got the win by way of knockout. He put his man down, and the 10 count was administered. is your winner by knockout, Teddy. Well, we came in wondering whether or not his opponent had a good chin. Thank you we so much for watching. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Like, Have yourself share, a great night. comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you next time. Another video. Peace.